No news is good news. Oh, shit. This is the album you told me wasn't coming. You didn't cuss me out last year. <laughs> if you don't ask me about a solo album, <laughs> the best way to get a solo album is to not ask me for one. And no one asked me. <laughs> so there it is. Like, no one said, like, I, I put it in with niggas ain't say shit. Like, niggas was like, if it was like that silence, it was the pink elephant. So, Fante, how's your family? Everybody's good. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like no one said shit about an album. So thank you, Jerry Barrow and Watch Loud, for keeping niggas out my goddamn minutes with that bullshit. <laughs> so it was cool. But uh nah, I mean I gotta I gotta I gotta finish it, man. I'm um I'm I'm in the like I said, this 2016 has been an incredible year. Um for some good reasons and a lot of bad reasons, uh, but uh, mostly good for me. But um, yeah, it's just between um, the work I had to do for Skybreak and then Tigalero, and then we were touring with FE, and uh, then also um, the breaks is coming back, so I got that coming. So it's just been a lot on my plate, man, and I'm so thankful, I thank God for all of it. But uh, I gotta get this shit done. So with my solo record, um, my approach to this one, I, I knew before I even started, I was just like, I'm not gonna do another charity in the sense that this is something that I write over the course of, you know, a year or two and just like, I, just, I, I, I can't do it. I just, I fucking refuse. Um, this is something that I think will be a lot more immediate and just more, uh, bang it out in a short period of time and in, in like a short concentrated burst and that'll be what it is so I mean I've got ideas down I've, I've started but um I, I never know what it's gonna be until it's done and that's the uh, the honest to God truth I never you you say one thing and it's like yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then you get to the end and it's like it sounds nothing like what you thought it would so Y'all don't know what I know. Shit. <laughs> who, who you been calling for, for, for beats so far? Um, I, 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 don't, I don't even want to go there. Because, I, because again, that shit could change. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I got this nigga. I got this nigga. And then them niggas don't make it. And they be mad. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I ain't going to say nothing. I, I've, I reached out to some cats I've worked with before. Some cats I've never worked with before. New new cats. Um, so, yeah. I, Again, man, you you will be the first person I call. I will call Jerry Jerry Barrel. The album is done, and it's it's in your inbox. Please here, because I didn't think this shit was gonna get finished. So, so that title is real. No news is really good news. Yeah, brother. I think in 2016, like yo, man. I, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, like every time, like I, I never thought that we would be a, a, a society where. If you log into Twitter or Instagram, whatever, any Facebook, whatever, and you see a person's name repeatedly, your first thought is automatically that they died or something bad happened. If you ain't hearing about a person, people think, oh man, hey, what happened to so-and-so? That nigga fell off, he used to be the man. No, he ain't fell off. That nigga's living his life. He good. He chilling. That nigga is out somewhere with his family. He being watched. That nigga probably at a Frankie Beverly Mays concert right now in a white linen shirt and then pants and a short set. And that nigga's living. He ain't, he's good. And you know, that's kind of where I'm at. You know what I mean?